I built a nightstand for less than $20 using a single 2x12 rough lumber and today I'm showing you how to build one. Let's get started! You need a 6 feet long 2x12 to build this bedside table. I bought a 12 feet piece for $36 so I can build two nightstands for less than $20 each. Using my miter saw I cut my board into 5 pieces. And to give a modern look to my nightstand, I rip cut the sides of the board to give each piece a square edge. I remove about 1 quarter of an inch on each side so the depth of my board is now 10 inches and 3 quarter. I test fit all the pieces and before I glue all the pieces together, I work on the shelf first. Because I will add an integrated charger to my nightstand, I drill a hole using a 3 inches also. I try to find the best spot on the shelf for my cell phone, then I mark and drill the hole for the charger. And while I drill the hole, I put my board over a plywood scrap pieces to avoid any blowout. I test fit the charger in the hole, then I move to the next step that is pocket hole for the shelf. I drill 6 pocket hole under the shelf, I initially did 4 but added 2 more later. It will allow me to stain the shelf separately from the nightstand and will make my job easier and the pocket holes won't be visible anyway. Now it's time to glue the last 4 pieces together. I put a melamine board under to have a perfectly flat surface to work with and also because wood glue doesn't stick to melamine. I then apply some wood glue. I align all board flush to each other and I clamp all pieces together for a couple hours. Once the glue has dry, I unclamp my pieces and I make sure the bond is strong. I will need to sand all surface to make sure they are perfectly flush to each other, but there is some things to work on before I sand my nightstand. First, I want to hide the wire of the charger. And for that, I cut a groove using my router and a one quarter router bit starting with the back of the nightstand, then I make the groove under the shelf. I also took the time to sand all pieces before the next step. Because I'm making a floating bedside table, I'm going with French cleat to make the installation easier. French cleat is two wood pieces that you cut at 45 degrees, one goes on the object and the other one goes on the wall. I'll show you the installation process later. I glue the piece that goes on my nightstand and while the glue dry, I make 3 holes into the cleat that will goes on the wall. It's time to stain my nightstand. I'm using a charcoal water based interior wood stain for an easy job. I really love the finish and the color of this salmon wood stain. I've done 2 coats to give a satin finish. Alright so now that the stain is all dry. Let's continue this build. It's time to screw the shelf in place. I'm using two scrap wood pieces as spacers to screw the shelf in the right position. Previously, I've drilled four pocket holes, but I've drilled two more later, and I'm screwing a two and a half inch pocket screws in each of them. Final step is to install the wireless charger. This one is a wireless charger from IKEA, but any charger will do. Using some hot glue, I glue the wire under the shelf and behind the nightstand. This way, no wire will be visible on the final installation. It looks way better. Here's a quick look of the final result. And now, let's get this nightstand installed to the wall. So like I said earlier, I go with a French cleat for this installation because it's really easy. One part of the cleat is on the furniture and the other one goes on the wall so you can hook the nightstand on it. I put two spacers on the floor and make sure it's level. Then I will mark and install three drywall anchors so I can screw the cleat to the wall. And while I'm doing this, you may ask why I choose a different color from my bed frame. First, this is a bed frame I made two years ago and you can check my video on my channel and also because we are planning building a new floating bed frame that will be the same color as my nightstand. Alright, back to our installation, the cleat is installed on the wall so I can hook my nightstand on it. And now I'm ready to show you the final result. 